it's kind of interesting to me that Valve would release a massive update, like a, I don't know, battle pass, for the lack of a better term. They called it Armory, and it's kind of weird how it works. It's like, I've seen a lot of like things online explaining how the army system actually works, because... For some reason, I don't know why, Valve just decided that they're not gonna try to even explain how this whole system actually works and how are you then supposed to, as a, you know, a client at the end of the day, know if it's worth it to spend all that very precious money that you have. Okay, so let's just actually get into that. I'm gonna explain like shortly how it works and if it's even worth getting. At, like in the first place. All right, so the army system, what is it actually? So the army system is basically a battle pass for Counter-Strike. If you want to look at it like that, you pay for the pass and then you have 40 different armory coins or point system that you can get. And the way you get that is just by playing the game. Different game modes give you more XP or less XP. If you play, let's say a casual game mode, you're probably going to get like, I don't know, half a star or whatever. And if you play like a premier game mode, you might get one to one, like 0.7 stars for that specific game mode. So it all depends on what you actually play and how much you play that, right? Okay, that's the first thing. Now, you'll see that like every other operation or battle pass or whatever that Counter-Strike has ever released, it is kind of a situation where you have the points and then you can buy stuff in the store for set points. And in this case, it's nothing different, really. Like, nothing changed. You can still buy the, like, case. You can buy the different collections with skins. You can buy the stickers. And obviously, you now have the charms you can buy. So that is all the different stuff you can actually, like, get your hands on when you have this Armory Points. Now, the Armory Pass, it costs 277 Rand. What is that? That is about, like, what, $20? No, maybe not. Like, $15, $17-ish? If you want to convert that to dollars, for us South Africans, it's 277 Rand. It is a lot for what it's giving, right? The one thing that they are promising is the limited edition Desert Eagle heat treated, which of course is a great investment given that this is very limited edition. And if it follows any trends like the other skins or limited edition type skins that Counter-Strike has had in the past, it is definitely going to go up in value. So you can expect the skin to go up very highly in value but not now like in the beginning stages like the first few weeks months or even the first year the skin will probably not cost a lot but because it is a very limited edition item not even very it's just limited edition eventually in some point in the future it is gonna have value and that is basically what valve is promising you now Apart from that, you have your charms, which is obviously very new and it's a new system. So everybody's going to try and get that as well, which you will probably be able to get anyway. I mean, why wouldn't they just give it it like it's not limited edition, right? So you'll be able to get that when the pass is over, just like buying it from the store or whatever. So you'll be able to get that. The new skins from the collections and the cases, the same thing. You'll be able to get that when the pass is over. So basically what the pass is doing is it just allows you to get that one for free. And it allows you to get the limited edition Deagle, which you will also be able to get from the marketplace when the pass is over. Or well, not even when the pass is over, it should probably pop up in like a few days. You only have like a seven day trade or market lock. So you'll be able to like get that now. So there's nothing that you can't really get if you don't have the pass. It's just going to have to wait a little bit. And technically you're going to pay possibly less if you don't have the pass. The thing is, it's kind of like the luck of the charms. If you think about it, if you buy one pass, that's 277 Rand. If you have access to all of these new stuff, you can get your 40 points or your 40 stars, and then you can grind and grind and grind. You can get that Desert Eagle. You can get a few cool skins, maybe even be lucky and gamble your way through to a <laughs> like, you know, pretty expensive skin. But the thing is, they are kind of relying on you not to just buy one pass. You can buy up to like four or five different passes, which gives you 40 points each to use. And that just ups your chances to get something incredibly crazy. Because I, I've seen like a short recently, right? 
where it said the more rarity type skins that you can get from the collections and the like case, that's like one in 700 and something to get. So you're going to have to open a lot of those to maybe get something really great. Now you can be lucky, like everybody can be lucky, but it's, it's still like luck of the draw type situation, right? Now the next question is, is it actually even worth it? Like, is it actually worth it? I got it. I'm happy I did. But I would say financially, unless you're willing to wait a long time, like I'm, I'm talking about years now, maybe two, three years, you're not going to see your money back, probably. And depending on how the market is going to change from this whole new skin thing, like the limited edition stuff, which is probably going to be there for every single battle pass. I keep calling this a battle pass. It's just for lack of a better term, right? For every single battle pass, it's probably going to be like a new limited edition item. So it, I, limited edition items are never going to like run out. It's just the specific skins are going to run out, but they have more opportunity to actually get more skins in the game. So I don't know how this is going to affect the market. It, it might be good. It might be very much not good. Thinking that it might be very, really, really bad. Now, now you know how the battle pass works. Now you know if it's even worth it. Maybe. That's basically the answer. It's, it's maybe, right? For my specific use case scenario, I got the Desert Eagle heat treated in pattern 627, I think. It's a fuel tested 0.163 float. It looks incredible. Like, it's, it's purple. It's not even blue. It's just, it's purple. And I like it, personally. I don't know if it's actually worth anything. I don't know if it's like a rare or if it's common. Just, I like it. I got myself the green op charm which is apparently not even the like one that you're supposed to get like the one that advertises purple so i don't i don't know if it's like you get different rarities with that as well who knows they didn't really give us any information so unless they like release a statement saying hey you know what this is actually what this means this is actually what that means there's no real way to like no definitely it might just be that the op is going to be green or it's going to be purple it's just like it's random colors but it doesn't make a difference i don't i don't know to be honest, I, I have absolutely no idea. So if you guys know any of that or like have like a way to find that out, just let me know in the comment section down below because I would actually like to know that. With that being said, have you gotten the pass? Are you happy with the fact that you've gotten the pass? Let me know. And as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see me break down the actual update, right? Just go check out the video on your screen right now. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little talking session and I'll see you soon. Peace.